Hello, my name is Vic Chapman, and I'm currently a student of Biomedical Science and Science at Monash University. Today, I have a lot of content I'm going to try and get through very quickly, so I'm going to gloss over a lot of topics. Please feel free to ask any questions you'd like at the end. Now, I'd like to start by asking everyone to quickly think of their favorite animal. The correct answer was bees. <laughs> Five points to anyone who got it right. <coughs> Unfortunately, however, bee populations are the lowest they've been in the past half century. This is catastrophically bad news. Bees are effectively essential for 40% of global food crop production. It's really worth contextualizing this statistic. So here we have a picture of a normal Walmart produce section. And here is the same section with all the bee-dependent products removed. The message is clear and striking. Bees are important. What we need is a huge amount of bees spread out over a very large area of land. So I have a plan to introduce millions of bees into homes across the country. Hear me out. I promise I'm going somewhere with this. Indigenous to Australia is a breed of stingerless bee. My plan is to introduce these uh, bees as garden pets. Imagine a box in your backyard that did two things, make you an infinite supply of free honey and save the environment. These bees would be physically incapable of hurting you. There are a number of issues with using these bees, however, including that they're very fragile and they don't produce much honey. So we should fix that. Um, historically, our best means of doing that would have been um, selective breeding, by which we would have selected a progenitor or a parent who had traits we wanted and simply bred that into the next generations, cleaning out the gene pool of the genes we didn't want and instead making the genes we did want more prevalent. However, this would take much too long. Instead, we can use an amazing piece of technology called CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 is honestly just incredible. What we do is we give it a small piece of code, which it goes to line up with the DNA sequence, and effectively it can cut, uh, copy, paste, and edit the entire genome with amazing specificity. We could use this to pick and choose any trait we wanted our bees to have. We could effectively make the A team of bees. Alternatively, if we didn't like the idea of building a bee from scratch, we could instead locate the genes responsible for producing the stinger in a bee, such as a honeybee, and instead knock those out. We wouldn't get a final product that was as uh, effective of a final bee, but it's a little less Frankenstein. Now we get to the most important question. Is it possible? And the answer is pretty close to yes, but with a lot of paperwork. A study out of uh, Japan in 2016 showed that CRISPR-Cas9 could effectively be used to knock out a gene called Royal Jelly Protein 1 from bees. The technology exists to edit bee genomes. We need only apply it. The issue, however, is the Australian Gene Technology Act 2000, which states we would need permission from the gene technology regulator, and bureaucracy quite simply takes a long time. Now we get to the real most important question, which is who would pay for it? Ultimately, this plan is a business strategy. The final aim would be getting the general public to fund this project by buying these bees and putting them in their backyard. At first, however, during the research stage, we would be dependent on venture capitalism, by which people would invest in this product, buying equity in the patent for these bees, and then they would hopefully make their money back later. And venture capitalism is a risky venture. I would like to quickly end with a story of the American mule foot hog. This was a breed of pig that was effectively going extinct. This all, however, changed when American farmers started producing more because demand for their bacon went up. As the price for this pig went up, they became more valuable to produce, and effectively, this species was saved. We live in a world where the only animals getting out of the mess we've made for them are the ones we get out of there, and the only way to do that is to make money from them. Hopefully, in 10 years' time, you could go into any pet shop in the world and for $10 buy your own starter box of bees. For $10, would you be willing to save the environment? Thank you. <laughs>